Okay guys, one of the things we have that we can create inside a feature dataset is topology. And topology is basically a way to set rules for your drawings to make sure that all your drawings, like for the polygons, for the lines, for the points, for any features you have, that this rules is valid and you use a topology to create this rules and you use it inside ArcMap to validate this rules against your layers. So let's see how we can do that. Inside our course data folder, you will find a new folder called topology. Inside this folder, you will find a California Geo database with California data set with only three layers inside of it. The cities, the freeways, and the Orange County cities. Here, we will right click here and say, I want to create a new topology. And keep in mind that topologies only created inside a feature data set and in order to create a topology, you need to have some feature classes exist inside this feature dataset in order to apply the rules against this layers. So here we will say create a new topology. Here it gives you some information about what topology is used for. So we will say next. We will name it California DS topology. Next. I will choose all the layers I have because we are going to create a rule for each layer. Next. And here you can set the ranking for the layers. So for example, when we do the validation in ArcMap, it will show you in a table like what is the errors and the higher rank is the one that's gonna show on the top. It's basically saying that the errors that happens in this layers is more important than the other one. We are gonna keep the rank all the same because we don't have any priorities for it right now, but this is how we can change the priority for your validation. We will say next. And here is the most important part for the topology where you add your rules. So let's add a rule by clicking here and say I want to create my first rule to be on the cities uh, layer which is point layer and my rule will be as you see here we have different rule options. So for example this case here we want to make sure that uh, because this is a cities points it have to exist inside a city polygon and it should not exist somewhere like outside of the city or for example the sea so we want to make sure our points must be probably inside orange county city's polygon and here on the right side it show you a description about your rule and how it will be applied what that means is any red point right here that means it will show up as an error so any point that outside or on the edge or the boundary of the polygon will be an error my points have to be inside the polygon to be valid i'll say okay let's add another rule let's say for the freeways uh, as we draw the freeways we want to make sure that our freeways doesn't overlap and does not intersect the freeways have to be connected in a certain point vertices on the intersections but cannot be intersect against each other so here i will add the first rule i will say the freeways must not overlap i'll say okay another one i'll say my freeways as you see here you have so many options i will say another option is must not intersect and you can apply as many rules as you want if you see it valid for your drawing case or your feature class. Say OK. And here we will add our last rule for the cities polygon. And I will say make sure that my cities doesn't overlap on each other. As you know, cities have to uh, share the same boundary, but it cannot overlap on each other. So I want to make sure that uh, my drawing is valid. So here on the right side, it shows me that it's going to show an error only if they overlap on each other. I'll say OK. We can add another rule for Orange County Cities Polygon, say must not have gaps. So that way I will make sure that all the cities share the same boundaries and there's no gaps in between my cities. So I will say OK. And now next. And here shows you the information for your topology. I will finish. It will create your topology right now. And after it finishes, it will ask us, do you want to validate it now? I will say no. I don't want to validate my topology right now. Uh, I'm going to open our MXD in the topology folder and add the topology and see how we can use the topology toolbar to do our validation. So now we have our MXD with the cities, freeways, and orange counties only. And now we will add our topology dataset to our map by go add data and go to our feature dataset, add our topology dataset from here. Here it asks, do you want to add the layers associated with this topology? I will say no because I already have these layers right here. I just want the topology only. And here you have uh, how it 
the errors will look like you can change how your errors look like from right here the line the points error or the area errors now the next thing we will do we will enable our topology toolbar by going here and enable the topology toolbar and as you see it's grayed out because you need to open an editing session in order for you to do edits or validate the topology so let's just start an editing session and right now here you have uh, so many options so let's check the first one say select topology give me the option to switch between different topologies if I have several topologies right here so I only have this one so I will keep it the same here the next option is topology editing tool and this will be used to uh, edit the errors we will find so right now we need to figure out if we have any errors or not let's open here on the right side error inspector and this one will open for us uh, like a table on the bottom that will show us any errors we have so now let's try to do the validation by clicking on this and say validate topology in current extent it will do the validation for us and it will show us if we have any errors now if you notice that we have uh, an error right here and we have an error around the all the cities of Orange County so before we continue let's quickly change the symbology of this polygon so we can differentiate let's make it green okay and now as you see we have an error right here let's zoom in a little bit more we have an error right here and we have an error in this area so let's try to see what errors we have and how can we fix it is by coming here and say fix topology error tool and when you select it you can make a rectangle anywhere and it will show you the errors we have also instead of using the topology error tool you can come here in the error inspector window and say search now and it will find any errors you have and as you see here it shows me the errors I have I have one error here that the freeways is intersecting with each other this is the one right here I have another gap exists I have a gap bit around the cities of Orange County and this is expected this is not an error because it's not connected to anything outside but I have another one with a gap so let's right click and say select feature and this is the one here the other one is select feature it's very small you cannot see it but it's right here so if you cannot see it you can always right click and say zoom to and it will zoom to it so let's see how we can fix that error so here we can choose the align edge tool to align this edge with this edge right here and say OK and it will fix it for us like that. So now if we did another validation for the errors you will see that the error have been fixed for us automatically and if we go back here and we do a validation again and now you see that the small error is not there anymore let's make sure so we can say search now and see we already fixed one error so that's okay the second error we have right here that's not actually an error it's okay to have this edges like that because it's not connected to anything outside of it and because we know it's not an error we can right click here and say mark this as an ex exception so it doesn't show up in our errors anymore so when I search right here it's not gonna show up only the last error I have right here is the one that show up and if you want to see the errors that you create as an exception you can click on this option right here and say search again and you will see that this one have an exception as true and in order to hide it you can just unselect this one and search again and we have one error here so now let's try to uh, fix the other error we have which is this one we right click and zoom to and now we have this error here so we will enable the editing for this line and we will hold this vertex and bring it down here say OK and we can create a new line from here to here like it was and double click and now we finished our drawing let's select the tool let's do the validation again and see if that will be fixed now we don't have the error anymore and if I go to my full extent when I click search now it's not gonna show anything because right now I have no errors I have an exception that I create an exception so that's okay it's not gonna show anything so let's say for example I have this polygon right here it's actually like that and also I have this point right here is like here so now if I do validation this two should show an error because they are not matching the rules we created 
and now you will see that I have this error here showing that all these polygons is intersect with each other and there is gaps in between and also this point is outside of the polygon so now we can fix it by just going and do control Z for the edits we did and now do validation again and show search now and we have no errors so let's make sure one last time that we have no errors in our map so here validation search now nothing if we open an exception and search now you will see that there's only one error that we made as an exception for these gaps right here so basically this is how you can use a topology it's a really good tool if you are drawing a lot of features and you want to make sure that you have some rules to draw these features that you can apply to your drawing or you can give this uh, feature data set or topology data set to someone to make sure that this rules is applied to your drawing and that's it for the topology and if you have any questions please contact me and let me know thanks